Hello everybody on Twitter. I've been in renovation mode. You can see I got a lot of work up here to do. Uh, I'm cleaning my house up, getting ready to put a pantry in. Yes, my sideburns are shaved. I got something to say. I find it interesting that Attorney Braggs has been pursuing Trump in litigation over Stormy Daniels, and yet the same man showed up here in Arnton with one of his cohorts in a truck from New York on my case. I'm going to say something. I haven't spoken a while because I had Antifa. All three sectors of BLM here and the Democratic National Convention with Hunter here not only attacking my bank account, not only trying to put me with five misdemeanors, which I did not do, to put me in prison an innocent person, but also the judge that took care of me, which I know personally here in town, very good man, Judge Waldo, sent it to the supreme level of the state. In that, it bars a Democrat being around me nearly 3,360 miles. If you come within that limit of my house or around me walking, my car is parked. I refuse to drive it. You come anywhere near me, you go to prison. Federally, in Nevinsworth, with some of the most hardest core criminals you could find. I don't appreciate you driving in front of my house, around my house, in the back of it, or anything else. No progressives, no Antifa, and certainly no BLM. If I'm across the river, it applies over there. Don't come with anywhere near me. And the gay pride movement, the same way. This town doesn't tolerate people breaking the law. I paid my dues. I'm free. But let me tell you. Don't come anywhere near me, or you're going to reap what you sow. There's my warning. Thank you. Love you guys. Vote for Trump. I'm a Federalist, a Federalist Republican. I'm not going to vote for Democrats. I don't like Biden. Love you guys. Pray for Israel. Pray for Jerusalem. Pray for our churches. Love you guys. I'm not going to say pray for the interim government. Goodbye.